In this video, we'll show you how to work with Zimmler image recognition. The service uses machine learning to automatically categorize and tag your images. Before you begin, you'll need a set of training images that the system will use to automatically organize future images. Start by creating a task and choosing a type of recognition job. Use categorization if you want each image to belong to only one category and have only one label. Tagging, on the other hand, is for cases where you'd like an image to have more than one label. In this example, we're going to create a model that will instantly recognize the type of room in real estate photos and categorize them all accordingly. Here, we're specifying four types of rooms to recognize – bedroom, dining room, kitchen, and living room. We have a few dozen examples of each of these types prepared and can upload them by dragging and dropping or like this. Now we're almost ready to begin training the model. But first, let's have a look at the advanced options of the task. These options help the training mechanism generate more variants of the training images. For instance, by flipping the images left-right or randomly mutating the images slightly to help generalize the recognition model. Hit the train button to start the process. Depending on the number of your training images and the complexity of the task, this process can take anywhere from a couple minutes to a few hours. Once the model is trained, you can test it like this. The output of the recognition process always contains the confidence for each label in the task. You can improve the quality of the model by uploading more training images and retraining the task. You can also explore the details of the trained model, such as the distribution of the images among individual categories, a matrix that shows which categories are often confused, standard machine learning measures per category, and also training images that would be categorized wrongly by the model. Sometimes you find images that are in the wrong category and can fix them on the spot. Your task is now ready. You can start using it via API. All you need is the ID for this task and your authentication token. You can find more information on these links or in our other instruction videos. Thanks for watching.